Wow, this is really exciting news. I can't wait to share it with Lily. text just doesn't show how excited I really am. Oh, I know. I'll add an emoji. Hey, future innovators. I just got some really exciting news that I wanted to share with a friend, but words just weren't enough. So instead, I decided to use an emoji. Emojis are all around us, from text messages to emails on all forms of social media. We can use emojis to express ourselves. Emojis originated in Japan in the late 1990s. When translated, it means pictograph. When broken down, the word emoji is the Japanese e, meaning picture, plus moji, meaning character. These picture characters have been part of our e-communication ever since. Have you ever wondered how your favorite emojis or even animated characters come to life? Well, it starts with a great idea and a very talented graphic designer. Let's go meet him. For today's lab, you're going to use a graphic design software called Vector to design an emoji that represents an emotion of your choosing. To design your emoji, you'll become a graphic designer. Graphic designers are people who specialize in visual communication. They design, animate, and bring ideas to life. Their work can be seen all across all types of media, from digital to print. meet an actual graphic designer who brings all of these ideas to life. Today we're talking with Kuhn Tran. So Kuhn, thank you so much for giving us some insight on this exciting STEM related job. What is your official job title? It's graphic designer. Okay, easy enough. So can you share some of your responsibilities? I'm in charge of all media assets and that could include PDFs, uh, emails, Word docs, business cards, website design. So it entails a lot of things. So what would you say is the most enjoyable part of your job? I would say the creative process. Being able to take a small idea and watch it grow and grow into a tangible object, it's rewarding. And seeing the reactions of my clients. Could you go through the typical process a student might expect to follow while they're trying to become a graphic designer? Obviously taking uh, art classes uh, in high school, pursuing a art degree, uh, graphic design degree, but you can also do like little things while you're going to school like uh, making up projects for yourself, you know, make up a make-believe company and design a logo for them and then design a marketing campaign for them, you know, and then put that in your portfolio. What advice would you give today's youth who are trying to embark on the graphic design journey? Graphic design is everywhere. We live in the world of graphic design. When you go into a grocery store, all the products on the shelves, that's graphic design. When you look on the news, the graphics that pop up when the breaking story hits, that's graphic design. You go to the restaurant and you look at a menu, that's also graphic design. So you can draw inspiration from anywhere. Uh, networking is also an important piece as well. Meeting people in the industry, you never know what type of opportunities can come up. Before you go, we would love to see your graphic design skills. Can you please show us how you designed your emoji using Vector? Sure. So, uh, first thing we have to do is explore some of the tools that we have mm -hmm. available. The Clips tool will be good for creating an emoji. Uh, then, what we need to do is think about the colors that a happy emoji will make you feel. So, I'm thinking yellow. Then, we need to make uh, some eyeballs. So, the Eclipse tool is a good tool for that. Then, pick a darker color for a higher contrast. Just to make it easy on myself, I'm going to do Control c Control v for copy and paste. So, now, I can just move it over, and now we got two eyeballs. Boom. Then we're gonna copy and paste it again, and make a mouth. And look, he's like saying, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, now we need to grab the rectangle tool and draw over the, the mouse uh, symbol. Select both of these, and then uh, select the subtract option here. And that's gonna remove Oh, the, I see, uh, so now it's in the shape of a mouth. Yeah, exactly. Make it a little bit bigger here. 
and now we have a smiling face. All right. However, I want to explore my options, so I'm just going to copy and paste it over, and we're gonna draw a different mouth. So I'm gonna use the pen tool this time instead of the Eclipse, and I'm just gonna click, click, click and drag, and then click. So now we have two mouths here. Which one do you like best? I actually like the one on the right. Why is that? To me, it has a, a wider smile, a more happy, like, grin. I agree, yeah. And uh, that's how you create an emoji. Awesome. Using Vector. This was a great example of how to use the design process. Good job. Thanks. That was pretty cool. And now it's your turn. Pick an emotion and design your own emoji. And remember, as always, have fun. <laughs>